When presented with a resistor network, cable I can find the interconnected pins, but cannot, in general, determine the exact geometry of the network. In order to accurately measure and display resistances in a circuit, cable I relies on match data as a model for providing the actual physical connections. For instance, without a match data model to work from, cable I cannot distinguish between the two networks shown in this diagram. In this video, we'll show you how to acquire initial resistor network connection information and then edit it, if necessary, to provide an accurate reference model of the circuit. In this video, the network we are actually testing has a geometry like that on the left of this diagram. Attach your reference or golden wiring to the tester and press the Learn Cable button in the Match Data panel to initially acquire the connection information. In this example, we have one networked group of connections and two point-to-point -point connections. Note that the wiring representation of the networked resistances is incorrect and that their values, which are based on the erroneous wiring assumptions, are also probably incorrect. Cable I flags these values with a red question mark so that you know that the resistances may be invalid. Also note, however, that the point-to-point -point measurements are not subject to ambiguous wiring interpretations and that their resistances are valid as measured. Click the yellow pencil at the top of the grid or double-click on a grid cell to enter edit mode so that you can correct the network wiring. When done, click the green check to accept the changes. You don't have to save this version to disk. We're just going to use it to acquire test data with the accurate wiring and resistance measurements. The test cable button. Note that the wiring is now correct, as are the resistance values for the network. Don't worry about the resistance mismatch icon. This is displayed because of the bogus resistance values still in the match data. You can now save the test data as your reference cable. To check out the new reference data, first press the clear lightning bolt button. Discard the match data, since we only used it to specify the wiring for the test data acquisition. Now load your new reference cable from the database and test against it. All wiring and resistance values should match and you should get a green check icon in the test data panel. Sometimes you can give CableEye a hint as to how typical network connections are arranged. If you check the daisy chain common connections option in the control preferences panel, Cable I assumes that resistors are arranged end to end, that is 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, etc., rather than emanating from a single pin. Since that is actually the case for this circuit, the wiring and resistances are acquired correctly here. However, because Cable I can't be sure that the wiring is correct, it still flags the resistances with a question mark. You can remove these question marks by simply going back into edit mode and then tabbing through the resistance fields to accept them as correct. Click the green check when you're done and then save the result to disk as your new reference cable. You can now test against this reference cable and, as before, the wiring and resistances should match.